Hi, everybody. Welcome to Bulletproof Underwear, episode number 151. Yeah! All right. 151, like a fine rum. (laughs) 151 (laughs) proof. I am your co-host, Yamjix. And I'm your co-host, Flex. And today, we've got a very special guest for you, a young fellow who happens to be a video gamer and also a YouTuber. He's got a lot of opinions. I I do have a lot of opinions. (laughs) None other than Happy Zoo! Yeah! Hello! Yeah, what up, Happy Zoo? My name's Happy Zoo. So, what makes you so happy? And I have nothing to say. Huh? Um, <laughs> well, that's a good question. I don't really know. Well, so where'd you get that gamer tag? Uh, that name? It's, it's the worst possible way to get a gamer tag. It was um, the old Wi Fi username of my house. It used to be what our Wi Fi password was called, not our Wi Fi password. Our the username? Well, the thing that, yeah, the username, it was that, and so what I took. <laughs> all right, all right, so like so that. when did you start that, uh, how long have you been, how how long have you been a video gamer? Um, I've been a video gamer since probably about 10 years now, but I've been a active video gamer for three, I'd say. Okay, okay. So you just kind of getting. In. By the way, how old of a of a fella are you? Um, I'm fourteen. Fourteen? Yeah. Really? I thought you were twelve. Just kidding. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> I was twelve once. Yeah. That was a couple years ago. <laughs> I look stupid in this in this thing. Even though I'm having a bad hair day, I'm going to take this thing off. <laughs> I was going to try and fly by with that. So you're fourteen. So when do you turn fifteen? April 15th, tax day. Oh, so you just barely turned 14. Yeah. Wow. Wow. Okay. Well, you're you're somewhat of a uh, of a of a beyond your years as far as your uh, your ability to to you know speak and uh, and interact. Thank you. You're not a you're not a squeaker. Mm, I was a year ago. I was. So your voice changed a year ago? It's changing all the time. I Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right. All right. Well, see, up until just uh 6 weeks ago, I was in puberty myself. <laughs> <laughs> so, let's get to know you here. Flex. Flex is from uh where are you from, Flex? Let him, let him know. Minnesota. I live in Minnesota. Where it gets real cold and real hot. Yeah. yeah. I, I'm here in California, in Oakland, right across the, the bay from San Francisco, where I work every day. I'm on vacation right now until until Tuesday. I go back to work. Mm-hmm. Had, a, had a nice week, ki- kicking back and chilling. Took it easy, eh? Yeah. Flex this week got a major hair... Removal project going on. Did you use Nair? <laughs> no, I met up with a really nice uh, hairdresser, and she like just buzzed it right off for me. She's really good. Wow, wow! It looks like uh, it's like I can I can see myself in your scalp now, almost. Twice hot <laughs> at the age. <laughs> All right. Well, you know, hairstylists make. You know they make a pretty good. That's a pretty good choice for a uh, a gal. You know they uh, they're pretty easy going. I like she like cut my hair and it was done in five minutes. Man, it was like, well, I got scalped, man. Was so, it like boot camp where they get, do a? Zzz, yep, she just zzz, buzzed it right off, man. She was zzz. good. Yeah, well, if if it's just working a pair of clippers, I think I think I could have done that. <laughs> yeah, you look uh, you look like you're pretty pretty cool as a cucumber. So, Happy Z, what are you doing here? Are you just about out of school? Or are you out of school? Uh, I finished Friday. Hey! Excellent. Today is the yeah, first full day of your summer, huh? Technically speaking, yes. Wow! Wow! So what are you going to spend the summer doing? 
Well, for the first part of the summer, I'll be in recovery. I'm having surgery on the third, so. I saw your tweets about that, so tell us about that for people. Who okay, don't know. well, when I was born, I had part of my heart missing, and ever since then, I've had to have surgeries. Thankfully, I haven't had a surgery for thirteen years. It wow. was a very, it was a very. They expected that I was going to have to have surgery um, about five years ago, I'd say, but something happened in that time where it just didn't deteriorate fast enough, and so I'm having it now. So you're 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 like what having a baboon heart implanted or something? Um. <laughs> 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 well, they're um, they're replacing a conduit in the valve of in a valve of my pulmonary atresia because that was missing. That's the part that was missing. So basically, if I didn't have that, I wouldn't be able to breathe. Well, blood wouldn't get to my lungs. So basically, I wouldn't be able to breathe. Wow. So so has this affected you much uh, growing up? I mean, were you like not able to do um, physical things? or Not really until recently, like the past couple of years. So. Is, is that when you picked up gaming more? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, good question. I mean, kind of. I picked up gaming when I stopped playing baseball, really. So, yeah. Okay. Well, baseball is a fine, fine sport. I, I applaud you. Yes. So, you are a uh, you are a man who's going into recovery. It's like for yeah, drugs be... and alcohol, right? No, just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so for a week, a week after the surgery, I'll be in the hospital. Then another week, I'll be down in Houston where the hospital is, just checking up every day, I think. Then for the next five weeks, I think, I'll be in a state of recovery where I can't do some stuff because I'm recovering. So Okay, so this is full-blown open-heart surgery, right? Yeah. That's pretty, that's pretty, that's pretty severe. That's pretty serious stuff. Wow, so they're gonna they're gonna cut you open like a fish and just yeah they're gonna pull pull gonna your cut me here pull your rib cage open here and, oh wow. wow wow see <laughs> I thought I was doing that with my broken shoulder that don't work right <laughs> I don't feel so bad now yeah really well so uh, is your prognosis good or I mean are you a person who's expected to die young or something like that. Uh, no, I don't think so. Okay, it's good, just, good, good. Yes. Yes. Yeah, but I'm going to, unless something happens where uh, like technology improves, I'm going to have to have surgeries for the rest of my life, getting new valves and stuff, but that's that might not be the case. Are they putting like an artificial so, valve in there that's going to wear out or something? Um, I think I think they're... They're either putting an artificial one in there or a peak valve, like something like that. Oh wow! Yeah. So the baboon heart thing was not too far off the the mark. <laughs> <laughs> no, not too far. <laughs> the pigs—they give us so much, you know. They give us their 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 tenderloins. They give us their hams. They give us their hearts, their hearts and minds. <laughs> their minds. <laughs> So after that, if you've got like a pig heart, a pig valve in you, will you have the heart, pardon the pun, to, to eat ham and bacon? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I would feel just teeny bit conflicted. <laughs> well, we wish you the best. So when is your surgery oh, no date? Doubt. On June 3rd. June 3rd. I, okay. I leave for Houston on the 1st, technically. Money and then surgery on the third. <laughs> okay, that's, so that's coming up, man. It is, uh, yeah. according to my calendar, a week or so from now. Yeah. Wow. Wow. Well, try to try to stay calm. I recommend brandy. <laughs> to- <laughs> I'm probably the calmest person in my family about this, actually. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, so tell us a little bit about yourself here. First of all, you are from what state? Texas. 
Texas. Well, I came from Texas originally. I was from Virginia, but I moved to Texas five years ago. No, 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 no. You're <laughs> you're you're pulling our legs because you have neither a Texas nor a Virginia accent. Where'd your accent go, buddy? Hmm? Um, I was Tell born in Maryland. <laughs> Ah, there you go, there you go. <laughs> okay, so how do you like Texas, uh, living in Waco, Texas? Um, Well, I guess I could put it, I like the people more, but the place less. It's really not a very pretty state. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. You know you're going to get hate in the comments here, so address your I hate and happy to you. <laughs> he, he hates Texas. He hates the great state of Texas. Texas. He didn't say that. No, no, no. <laughs> you did. He said it's ugly. He said it's Texas. Damn, he hates is ugly. Texas. Oh, no. no. I, it's, it's not pretty because it's flat and flat things. That's getting sexual. Um, <laughs> <laughs> it's not mountainous. And mountains are pretty. So. Yeah, yeah, okay. <clears throat> You uh you, you close shift Virginia close is. save. I'll buy that for a dollar. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Virginia is right in the middle of the Appalachian Mountains and I grew up with mountains literally in my backyard, so compared to that, Texas is pretty ugly. Yeah, but you know one thing Texas the people are actually very friendly in in my opinion. Yeah. Texas yeah. people are nice people. I mean they're friendly. Yeah. And the girls are good looking too. Uh, I'm not just not just talking out of my ass here. Them them Texas chicks, they's got it going on. So how about you? Are you have you got your eye on any little Texas Phillies over there? Uh, no, not really. Well, don't worry. There's still plenty of time for that shit. And plenty of fish in the sea. Plenty of fish in the sea. Plenty. Uh, yeah. Now, uh, so all right. So let's go back to let's go back to gaming. So uh, you've been a gamer for a, a while and a pretty serious gamer for just the last three years. So tell us what was the first game that really got you going? Um, believe it or not, it was pretty good bad game I'd say coming back and thinking about it now but I loved it at the time it was uh, Spore heard of that Spore? for the yeah for the Xbox? <laughs> okay. no it was a PC game oh it was a PC game oh okay okay yeah so so you're you you play PC games now I know that you do uh yeah. so did you grow up playing PC games and Xbox or one before the other or what yeah I I, I grew up playing in Lego Star Wars games on the PC, <laughs> so I bought a laptop for Spore, then moved over to the Xbox like a year later. So you have an Xbox and then I'm 360? back on the PC now. I have an <laughs> Xbox have an One. X okay, so do you still have? A yeah, 360? I sold my three. I no, I sold that to get the Xbox One, and it was a pretty bad idea because I miss it. <laughs> yeah, I was just on mine the last couple of days. Yeah, I'll. Yeah, it's like I'm not. I, I'm gonna be buried with that 360, man. <laughs> not me, man. I'm next gen, baby. <laughs> next gen all the way. Okay, so you are known as a Halo player, correct? Yeah, yeah. Your uh, your videos that you that you posted so far have been Halo videos. So and um. So what's what's your opinion in the the current? State of Halo today. Hmm. Well, first of um, all, first of all, let's talk about the Master Chief Collection. Are you playing oh, it? Oh yeah. Do you ever play it? Um, I play it every now and then, usually on the weekends, but not really that often. Uh, I played probably the last time I played was last week, so. Uh -huh. So when you played but before that, it was like a month. Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> so when you when you play it, are you playing uh, like a, a mix of them, or do you specialize in one particular Halo Three, Halo Two, 
No. When when I play, it's usually in like custom games nowadays. So. Yeah. Now, let me ask you. Uh, you've criticized people for being negative in the Halo community. I'm calling you out, Happy Zoo. No. <laughs> 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 You've criticized people for being negative about the Master Chief Collection. So, but let me ask you, why are you not playing it more? Why why are you not on it all the time? Um. Well, if any of you remember the second to last video I uploaded, it was like, "Is MCC dead?" And I came to the conclusion that. MCC is a broken game and it's dead in the water, but Halo itself is not. Okay. And I uploaded that like a day or two before the big patch that the big technically patch. speaking fixed everything, but the, the came around and it turns out it didn't really big fix. fix that much. Yeah. And for like a, a week or so after that, I went back up on that opinion because I the game was fixed. I was like, oh, it's working now. But then, after time, I quit playing. Halo is saved! People quit playing. <laughs> Halo is yeah. saved! Uh, and then it just it just came back around and turned out to be true again. So Yeah. Well, you know, my last video was titled Is, is Halo Finished? That was, <laughs> that was the title of my last video. So, I mean, it's not like you're the only person who was, like, in that in that mindset and uh, a lot of people have been posting anybody who's posted anything about Master Chief has tended to be somewhat negative I mean what what positive can you really say about it I mean that's that's the question if I could think of something I would make a video about it yeah well okay. I think you're right and it's broken it's just they're, it's broken they're not they're not going to get it happening I don't yeah, really think no, that they're like, working too hard on fixing it either. No. I think it, it's, it, it, it's a mix of the more patches they make, the more bugs come out, and less people play it every single patch. I think that's really what it comes down to. Well, I don't think they're moving heaven and earth to, to put their top, top people on, you know, like 24-hour yeah. shifts to get it fixed. I think, like, well... Here's a patch. Let's see if it works. You know, it's like we had a intern, you know, you know, uh, on his lunch break, you know, make up the last patch. <laughs> 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 I don't know. Yeah, well, I mean, I think I th that's really just um, no, no one sent it really. Everyone's negative about it. Everyone basically hates them, so they don't really have a will to continue making patches and they're on a schedule they have to right well the hype train get is already five out because microsoft is a dictator that's it well the hype train has moved on you know uh halo 5 hunt the truth hunt the truth are you addicted to the hunt the truth i i freaking love hunt the truth oh really i can't okay. wait for the next episode yeah Okay, so what it, do we know so it's, far? It's the best, it's the best piece of advertisement in all of gaming. Um, what we know so far is that Oni is made of a, of a bunch of liars, and they're not telling the truth. <laughs> they're not telling the truth. <laughs> okay, I don't. It's a loss happened. I, I don't really know how to summarize it. I'm not good at summarizing things, so. Okay. Okay. So, so you're you're uh, you're you're sticking with that uh, that that campaign. It's 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 pretty interesting that they did it like that. Yeah. It kind of builds the hype and kind of keeps it moving. Keeps it going forward. Yeah. So you played the beta, right? Yeah. Halo Five beta. I played it every day. I think. Yeah. Almost every day. All right, so until well, the last week, then I played like three days. Okay, so what'd you think about it? Um, 
I I really loved it, then I really hated it, and at this point I'm really indifferent about the multiplayer. I think I'm going to be primarily playing campaign and sticking to the lore stuff. But I'm I'm more excited for big team than anything else in the multiplayer, so I'm I'm not I'm not gonna be taking Halo Five too seriously, not too competitively. So I care less at this point about what happens with it. Okay, so you're you're put off by the anti-competitive aspects that they presented, like the sprint and the dashing and boosting or whatever. Is I'm, that right? I'm I'm more put off by the lack of identity that the that the game has. It's too competitive for the casuals and too, too casual for the competitive. So okay. it's too yeah. casual for me and too competitive for the other people because I mean they they put this they put a a very a very punishing ranking system in a very a less a less punishing environment, I guess. Okay. You know. And yeah. Well, I was a proud iron ranking myself. <laughs> <laughs> I I made it to Onyx the last day. I'm oh, proud of myself. Good for you. Good for you. Very good. All right. So, uh, so, all right. So you're no fan of Sprint. I, I've seen your posts. I've seen your tweets and uh, and all that. So you're one of the non-Sprint guys. Yeah, I'm not non-Sprint as in. Oh, I really want a super low movement speed Halo. No, I I think that the faster movement would be the better, but sprint's not the answer. Okay. okay. So, all right. So you're you're kind of of the Dell Elementary school. You're like. Yes, I've been compared to Dell Elementary a lot. You you've been and called usually negatively. You've so. been called <laughs> Dell 2.0 by yourself and Dell 0.5 by cleanup. <laughs> Right? By uh, one other person I was called, you're like Delementary, but you're not Delementary, so you don't get an opinion or something like that. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. Well, you know, it's like nobody's in charge of who gets an opinion. It's like uh, somebody can say that you don't have an opinion or you can't have an opinion, but you know what? That doesn't mean it's true. So anybody who fucking wants to have an opinion can have an opinion! You hear that? <laughs> so okay, so you're you're all about the, the competitive. Yeah. You're all about the competitive. And you're playing you're playing I don't know if you're still playing it, but you were playing the game Toxic on PC. Yeah, I the the only reason I'm not playing it now because is because my computer can't run it, I think. Okay. Like, so, you- so so basically I got I went from Four gigabytes of RAM to sixteen gigabytes of RAM, and somehow that screwed everything up. And now I can't play two of the games that I played most often. You went from how many to how many? Four to sixteen gig, uh, gigabytes of RAM. So I don't know what happened. So quadrupling I, your RAM gimped your computer. <laughs> yeah, I, I I was I had been talking to this guy who was saying that laptop RAM is very different from PC RAM, and usually. It doesn't really matter how much RAM you have because it's not really a RAM problem. And then I think a lot of it comes down to my hard drive is just busted up. Like three years ago, when I first got the computer, I didn't know what the crap I was doing and I was dropping it everywhere. <laughs> Ooh. Ouch. Not good. Well, just, you know, dropping it down and stuff. And Ew. laptops are pretty delicate because the hard drive is delicate. Which makes them delicate. So, yeah, that's true. Unless it's a solid state drive, then they're pretty durable. Yeah. Yep. I don't have one Still. on my PC. I wish I did. Yeah. So do I. And then it's it itself is pretty bad. I think the graphics card is less than stellar because I can't I can't record anything with OBS. Like I've tried, and I just. It keeps saying the CPU encoding is too high. Turn it down, but I can't turn it down. So, okay, okay. So, but okay. So you're able to to, to create and edit uh, videos, right? Yeah, yeah. Um, 
I was, I, I'm kind of able to capture from, through the X, uh, from game capture, Elgato, at a low quality. I, I haven't tested it since I got the new RAM, so I don't know what it is like now. But So do you capture I'll, in 480 or 720 or what? Yeah, I was, it was in between 480 and 720. I could, on good days, I could capture 720. On bad days, I couldn't capture anything. Hmm. So what's the future of your YouTube video, just of your YouTube channel? Um, well, I've come to the conclusion that I will be at least trying to start it up again. So I've been, been on a little bit of a of a pause. Yeah. For a while. <laughs> Two month pause. <laughs> and so I I've I've written out it a new intro and I think it's pretty hilarious. But it's probably not. I don't really know. <laughs> okay. Well, your your videos, okay, so you, you haven't made that many videos, but uh, I have noticed that they're, from the very beginning, they're pretty ambitious. I mean, you know, you're, uh, it's not just gameplay, you're, you're, your videos tend to be focused on commentary. Yeah. Right. Yeah, I, mean, I love doing gameplay commentaries, yeah. Yeah, so I mean, the gameplay is like going on, but you're not talking about like, so here I... Here I climb up to this window and then I uh, pull out my pistol and, and now I'm meleeing this guy. You know that's not what your videos are about. No, no. Yeah, I, I like to have a topic that I, I talk about throughout the video. Okay, so, so, uh, so you, I can tell that you script your videos, right? Yeah. You, you write it out, and uh, so that, that's good. At least a very organized train of thought kind of thing you can edit it and until you're ready to go yeah. until you're ready to record and for every script that i've written i've had another that i cast away into the dark abyss of my <laughs> crumple it up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah all right so uh <clears throat> so what are you going to make your next video on is it going to be a halo gameplay um, or yeah i think i might go back on and capture some gameplay or I might just scramble together a bunch of clips from like YouTube like trailers and stuff and just put that all together and do something kind of like game theory that yeah. setting not really one straight gameplay but a bunch of stuff but I don't have the best editing software so that's what do you, what do you far use? off um, well I recently got Photo, uh, Adobe Premiere, but I don't like it that much. Ooh. I use this. It's called Wondershare. I got it for 30, 36 bucks, I think. <laughs> it's. And you're using that instead of the Adobe Premiere? Adobe Premiere is like serious yeah, software. Well, yeah, well, I, I, I installed it like. I installed it last night and didn't really like it because it was taking too long to. Like render the stuff that I was trying to use, which was like a two-hour long video. So <laughs> a two-hour so long I, video, I, it, it takes yeah, it takes like overnight. <laughs> it takes like the whole day to render a video that no, long. No, like like get a two-hour long video onto the editing software. It was like a forty percent on the first one, and I had six more to go, and so I was just like, screw this, I'm going to sleep. <laughs> Yeah. So I haven't really tested it out yet, I guess. Well, I tried Adobe Premiere a long time ago. It was like, I think it was back in version 6.2. I got a pirated, cracked copy. Hate me. Go ahead and hate me. But I never ended up using it because it was hard as shit to use. Adobe, I never... Flex, did you ever have any luck with any kind of Adobe products, Photoshop, or any of that stuff? Not really. No, I didn't really... Never really... Didn't think they were intuitive enough myself. No, I don't think they're intuitive at all. If you ever get a different software, get Vegas. Yeah, I'm saving up for uh, desktop right, right now, so that won't be a while off. I'm currently sitting at two hundred and thirty-six dollars out of like six hundred. <laughs> Okay, so if anybody out there wants to buy Happy Zoo a computer or a portion of a computer, contact Yamjuice and I will make sure that he gets the money. 
Hey, here's the poor sick kid. He's gonna go into the sur- he's going under the knife. Come on, guys. <laughs> no, actually, you could uh, you could probably you know you could sort of milk that for some sympathy from the parental unit. You know, maybe maybe get a little. No? <laughs> they, they, my, my parents like the idea of me building my own computer, so that's one thing I have going for me. Okay, okay, cool. So, uh, I, they're, they're, they're probably pretty protective of you since you're a person with a, a medical situation, right? Mm, not that protective. No, not really. So if you want to play Monopoly in the middle of the street or something, they'd be okay with that, right? No. <laughs> well, our street's not very busy, so probably, yeah. <laughs> now, now, Waco is that town that has the gingerbread houses, right? No. It's the one with the Yalico building. I don't, I don't know about any gingerbread houses. Yeah, okay. I'm, I must be thinking about another... Oh, I'm thinking of Waxahachie. I'm thinking of oh. Waxahachie. Yeah. Oh, yeah. They have the gingerbread houses. So Waco, that's where the uh, that's where the uh, the ATF agents went and flushed out David Koresh and the Branch Davidians back in ancient history. Ancient <laughs> history, long before it's, you were born. It's also where the um, the gangs had the shootout just a couple of weeks ago. That's right. It was just last week, I think. Yeah. At Twin Peaks Restaurant. Yeah, never been there, never going to go there. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I'd never heard of Twin Peaks Restaurant. I've heard of Hooters. Yeah, it's, I'm pretty, from what I get, it's a lot like Hooters. Yeah, yeah. Now, I was curious, so Twin Peaks Restaurant, so it's a chain. It's like Hooters. The, the girls have like cleavage-inducing Get ups, and uh, so I said, I wonder if there's any Twin Peaks around here. There's one in San Francisco, <laughs> <laughs> it must be in the tourist part area or whatever. I've never seen it, but uh, if, if I decide to have a have a bicycle, a motorcycle gang fight, you know, I will I will head over there. Yeah, I from. I, I don't really know what happened since the shootout, but I think there's I heard my parents talking about like the the one here closing down. I'm not sure if that's the case, but like they the police had known about the gang's meetup for like a couple of weeks, and they had been telling the restaurant not to let them in, but they were wanting them in because they give them a lot of money and tips and stuff. So yeah, I don't know what's happening, but not good stuff probably. Well, so they probably had to buy some new windows, <laughs> right? I mean, I'm sure that uh, yeah, they're probably getting sued right and left from uh, yeah. from people. Yeah, from what I heard, someone got sued. Yeah, well, yeah. I, I bet you people died. I mean, I know some some gang yeah, members died. Yeah, nine people died, and like eighteen were injured. I think. Did any cops get hurt? No. Huh. Any uh, innocent bystanders get hurt? Um, I think maybe. I don't really know. So it's just motorcycle guys killing other motorcycle guys. Yeah, there were there were two rival gangs there, and then one of the gangs got three other gangs from Dallas and other places down there to support them. Wow! Oh yeah. shit, my battery's running out. Your battery? Oh, you're not plugged in, Flex. Fuck, I forgot, <laughs> man. <laughs> oh my goodness. So, is there anything you'd like to promote, Happy Zoo? Before my battery um, runs out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, I have an Imgur. I have an Imgur account. Imgur account. Ima- imager. I, I upload. Yeah, Im- Imgur. I think that's. Is it Imgur? Wh- whatever it is. I've always pronounced it Imgur. <laughs> I ha- I upload some like art stuff there. Right now, it's oh just, yeah 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 uh, yeah your uh, your three D modeling stuff. Yeah, but I probably upload other art stuff there. I uh, upload my art there. Hey, do me a favor. Do you know how to send a text on uh, like a, a Skype 
like a little text no. thing. I barely use Skype. <laughs> okay, well, I'll tell you what. Send me a private message with your uh, with your account, and uh, and I'll make sure it goes in the uh, the description below the video. Sure, I'll do that. Okay, and we'll put a description in. The, uh, uh, we'll put a link to your your YouTube page and your Twitter. If anybody is interested in uh, following this young man, he's very opinionated. <laughs> For one so young. Yeah. Me and Flex are just a couple of years older than you. That's all. <laughs> yeah. I, I, yeah. I go by the motto, I want to know exactly what I believe and exactly why I believe it. Okay. So good that's motto. What I've that. Yeah. All right. So, so maybe we could get you back on the show sometime. Yeah. That, that'd be fun. All right. All right. Cool. Okay, so if you're still watching Bulletproof Underwear, episode number 151, good for you, good for you, get a life. <laughs> no, 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 we love you. We love you. All right, so I've been your co-host, Yam Juice. And I've been your co-host, Flex. And once again, we would like to thank our special uh, guest, young man, Mr. Happy Zoo. Yeah! Thanks for having me. Yeah, you bet. Yeah. So, you remember that thing we talked about? Yeah. Ah! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> there you go. There you go. First time. He did it right. Okay. So, there's only, considering the batteries are just about to go, there's only one thing left to do, Mr. Flex. Take us out. Bye, everybody. Bye.